Hey and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel and I'm doing another one of my little Japan tidbit things where I'm trying to keep them short and sweet and simple. And this one is going to be really quickly on my favorite memory in Japan and then also my least favorite memory in Japan, um, which should be really easy. So my favorite memory in Japan has to be going to live concerts. Um, that was something that I really enjoyed doing with my fiance. Uh, and I really only went to see like two people because that's what I was into. So one of the people that I went to see quite often was Yonezu Kenshi, really into him. It was really great to see when he started his live concerts. I didn't go to his very first one because I couldn't get tickets because I was still in the States at the time. But from when he started like, his first concert and his growth, um, for each one after that. I've been to about three or four of his lives and generally to get tickets to them, you would have to do a lottery. I think that was like after his second one. So that's one of my favorite people that I went to see a couple of times, Yonezu Kenshi. Another artist that I had the pleasure of seeing was Utada Hikaru. If you know me, you know I am a huge fan. And the fact that I was able to not only win the lottery so that I could buy tickets, but the tickets that I got were like 20 rows away from her. Best experience of my life. That's all I wanted. I said when I go to Japan, that's one of the things that I want. I would love to see Utada live. And it just so happens that the year I went to Japan, I moved to Japan, she came out of retirement, she released the CD. And then the year before I left, she was like, yo, Angel, I got this concert for you and you're coming. So that was my best memory. And for my worst memory, The one that comes to mind like right away was the time that I lost my wallet like two or three days before I was supposed to move from Ikebukuro to Saitama. And I lost my wallet in Shinjuku in a park. And so I went to the Koban right near the park, tell the police what happened and like fill out a form saying that I lost, lost an item. And the police officer was so rude. Granted, my Japanese was not like the absolute best at that time, but I knew enough. And even I was doing my, I was trying my hardest, you know? And I don't think the police officer actually spoke English because uh, he wanted me to like, call this English line or whatever. Like I was trying to tell him what happened. You know, I, I lost my wallet. I think I dropped it in this park over here. And he was asking me questions like, oh, where are you from? Blah, 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 blah. And you know, I'm answering him as best as I can and telling him what happened as best as I can in Japanese. And you know, he like literally says like, your Japanese is terrible. And he was saying like rude things like that to me while I'm trying to get his help. And then I'm trying to like fill out the forms like with my address and everything. And I can write it perfectly fine in um, kanji and everything because I had to write my address on quite a lot of paperwork, but he was just like, nah, no. He's like, oh, you know hiragana? And I'm just like, oh my goodness. He was really, really, really rude. And I remember just leaving from there, like you ever just like get upset and you can just feel all the blood rushing to your face but you really can't say anything to that person because they're for you to do something. And I know that if I was someplace else, like if I was back in the US or whatever, I would have told them off because you know you what, you shouldn't be talking to me like that. But I had to like, oh, I didn't have the really language skills to kind of like bop him back. But that was a pretty bad experience. And I was just like, yo, I kind of wish I just let my wallet be lost, you know? But I'm glad I did fill out that form and we did get, that process done because my wallet was found maybe like two days later, literally like the day I was supposed to move. And I was able to go to the main police station and pick it up and all my money was still inside. I guess nobody wanted $70 in coins. I don't know why I had that much coins in there, but my money was still inside. All my IDs and everything were still inside. So that was a good um, outcome to that. But that police officer, <sighs> Talking to him was one of the worst experiences I've had. That's just the one that like comes to mind super quick because I just don't like when people talk down to me or talk to me in like a certain way and you can tell they're trying to be rude and you know, they have no reason to be and they shouldn't be. I'm 
not the one. I was the one that day, but usually I'm not the one. That's it for this video. If you have any Japan questions or um, any questions in general, if you just wanna hear like my sometimes trash opinion, I don't know if my opinions are trash, sometimes they are, but if you just wanna hear my opinion on it or whatever, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to, if you wanna be here, I want you here. If not, I'm not gonna force you to do anything that you don't wanna do. And I'll see you in the next one.